Hello and welcome to RC Hacker. My name's Mark and today I was just going to do a quick little video just to show um, the latest iteration of my mini tricopter. Now I don't know if you can see it down here but the current flying weight is 327 grams. Now what I've added, the obvious bit on the front is this box here and I've got um, two cameras there. One is the Sony 600 TV line super head camera and the other is the RD32 HD camera. Okay, um, I'm powering the HD camera, I've removed the battery and I'm going to power it off just one cell of the three cell. I figured it draws such a small amount of current that over one flight just drawing power off one cell shouldn't matter and I'm hoping that the, the voltage regulation circuit on the camera itself should be enough to stop any noise getting down to it. Of course the, the other camera is powered off my little my power pod here. Let's get a pointer over here. Uh, so if we look on this side, this is the 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. It's just a transmitter module and then I've got there's three regulators, a 3.3 volt, a 5 volt and a an adjust whoop, I can't see that. There's an adjustable regulator around the other side there. Now that's just for filtering, for filtering the signal. So we get a we get a nice clean nine volts going into my camera here and a nice clean five volts going into the transmitter. And uh, I sorry a nice clean 3.3 volts going into the tra transmitter. And the five volts is not actually used, that's just sort of a step down along the way. We have the KK2 here, and that's powered off just one of the ESCs. I, I think it's. I think I rigged it up to be. Let's get that to focus. There we go. That's powered off the UBEC of one of these ESCs. Each of the UBECs provides um, 500 milliamps, and then the UBEC of this ESC powers the FR Sky transmitter, which is on the bottom here. And the last ESC at the back actually powers the servo at the back, which is part of the UOR mechanism. Now what else do we have here? There's a 1000 milliamp hour Turnergy um, 3 cell battery that powers everything and the main power connectors here and the, the video equipment is now connected by this uh, little balance lead as well. So, yeah. That's about it. I've had it hovering in the room and it's all trimmed and works nice on auto level. Uh, it's, it's getting a little bit more porky but it should still have enough power. And that problem that I had with this motor here, uh, with that dying of power, it turned out the motor was faulty. So I replaced the motor and in the process I had to replace the whole front arm. I've actually rebuilt the front section here. I've got nylon bolts. These are just metal lock nuts here because I didn't have any nylon nuts. So hopefully in a crash rather than these arms breaking it'll just slide around in this mount hopefully and, and not break. So so yeah look forward to oh, it's it's just oh there's there's the little um clover leaf antenna there as well. So I'm hoping in the future when it stops raining to get out and fly this thing a little bit. So um yeah Watch this space. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.